Utah football kickoff week is presented by Taco Bell, and it continues with a regional rivalry. After a five-year hiatus, the Battle of the Palouse is back. Idaho and Washington State separated by just eight miles. Giovanni McCoy gets the start at quarterback for the Vandals. Flush from the pocket and tripped up before he can reach his sideline. R.J. Stone. McCoy gets the nod over Jabori Gibbs and C.J. Jordan at least for now. Second down, shotgun snap. Pocket breaks down and he is dragged down. It's R.J. Stone again. This is not where they want to be in third down and long against one of the most vaunted pass rushes in the West. Connor Whitney in motion from that left side. They're going to toss left to the strength, to the boundary, and run out of room. Just to follow up the thought on Hatton, he might be the preferred target tonight for McCoy and any Vandals quarterback who plays. He's been on some big stages in his career. Play fake. Pocket crumbling. He's dragged down for a sack. Dayon Henley playing his 50th college game today came with Brian Ward from Nevada. Travion Brown right there alongside him, tearing him down to the ground. Jordan Dwyer in motion. Third down, they need four. And the Cougars gobble it up. Lawrence Falatea celebrating a third down stop. That help on that edge from Jordan Lee, the strong safety. A couple of tight ends switching sides. Here comes Jordan Dwyer in motion. They'll put it in his hands as he looks to turn the corner. Shut down by Sam Lockett, the third. Giovanni McCoy takes the snap and gives Anthony Woods wrapped up by Brennan Jackson. Had an unbelievable fall camp. They called him unblockable, a human wrecking ball. He's healthy for the first time since Dickert's been on campus. Watch this. He just dives between two def uh, offensive playmakers and just, to your point, right, unstoppable. That's the exact look at it. Eck told us he would stay up late to watch Pac-12 after dark last year. Root for Dickert and the Cougs. Now trying to upset them on their home field. Fourth down throw to the flat. It's destroyed. Armani Marsh, reputed as the smartest player on the field, saw it coming. What a play by the fifth-year senior. Shot out of a cannon. Identifies, goes, and puts his helmet right in the midsection of Roe Johnson, keeping him from reaching the first down marker. First down from McCoy. And here comes some trickeration. They put it back in his hands. They could not find a target as he set the laces. This will go for a loss. Jaden Hicks and the Cougars defense not fooled. They get to tell him he's a redshirt freshman getting major snaps on our defense. Anthony Woods could not turn the corner. Travion Brown showing up again. How much time will McCoy and the Vandals give these Cougs to rush the passer? Not much. They get it out wide. And another stop on third down for Dayon Henley and the Cougars. On third down. Extending the play. Finds his back at the 10. Watson. Tried to step through a Vandal. Leaves it on the doorstep. First and goal, Cougars. Guys running wide open all over the field there for the Cougars there. Flat-footed, out to the perimeter, slicing inside and into the end zone. Renard Bell has the first touchdown of a new season for Washington State. Just quick decision-making there by the young quarterback. He gets it out to one of his best players in space. Too quick, too agile for the Vandals to make a tackle for the touchdown. Worth a watch, presented by Principal. Defense looking for a takeaway or a three and out. McCoy, a long look, heaves it middle. It's intercepted. Shaw Smith-Wade. 
JB, if you want to take a look at a situation where a defensive back clearly baited a quarterback into a throw, this is a perfect example. Watch as he's in a trail position here. And as McCoy moves to his left, he doesn't feel the defender just kind of sliding underneath it. And sure enough, now Cameron Ward ready. Here comes the blitz. He steps into it and finds daylights. Tripped up inside the 10 with first and goal. Janikowski, 34 yards for the tie heading to the half. So the Vandals will go on fourth and two. Here comes the pressure. Batted away. David Gusta, defensive tackle. With only Revere, the tight end attached left. Third down, they need eights. Fake the toss to the outside. At the goal line, in space, Dijon Stribley for the lead. They bunch set up to the right, fake the little toss out there, and allow the wheel guy to fall in right behind him. Find that void. You know, Eric talked about playing high school basketball, playing different sports, and then seeing different spacing because of it. As a point guard, that was a perfect example of finding the open space for the touchdown. Coog's creeping, and they blitz it from the edge. Gobbling up the new quarterback. C.J. Jordan goes down for a loss of two. Rolling that way. Throw short instead. Jackson trying to win the race to the sideline. Jordan Lee shuts it down. Play clock getting short. McCoy, they heat him up. They eat him up. A third down sack for Edson and the Cougs. This one is boom. Jackson retreats to take it, and he's dropped immediately. Shaw Smith-Wade has an interception, and now a huge play on teams. Big moment here for the visitors from the Big Sky Conference, but a sack off the edge. Brennan Jackson shows up at just the right time. There's that speed you were talking about off the edge. He puts his foot in the starting blocks and just goes. Watch as he just runs flat around so fast that the tight end running across the field could be the blocker. Can't even get to him. He chases down McCoy, rips him to the ground for a big sack and tackle for loss. And for a false start penalty, it's fourth and nine. I mean, the way the defense is played, you're not taking too big of a risk here, to be honest. Here comes the house from the Cougs, and they get home. Armani Marsh has been everywhere. Another red zone opportunity for the Cougars. They're three of three tonight. From a two-back look, they get it to the flat. They get it to the freshman, and he puts it in the paints. Jalen Jenkins, whose night and career Began with a costly fumble with some late night redemption. Wood stays in the backfield for Giovanni McCoy. Cooch rush four, throw to the flat, is plucked out of the air, but tackled inbound by Kyle Thornton. On the screen to the tight end, he gets nothing. Ward hands off. Nikia Watson picks his way through the left side. Steps away from the tackle. He rumbles out across midfield on the first play of the drive. That's how you do it, too. Cougs rush four. Batted away. Right back where it came from. Nusi Milani. To stop, you can spike it. The middle of the field is wide open. Pass those linebackers. McCoy wants to go to the goal line. Picks. Deion Henley takes his seat and takes the win. Playing his 50th college game, but first as a Coug, Deion Henley says goodnight and calls game for the Cougars.